Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, blueheronarts.com. Today, I'm going to introduce you a new material, um, pre-mounted uh, silk margin, uh, to dry mount a painting uh, with a silk margin. So you will be flat and uh, ready for framing. Um, in this uh, board, you can see the finished work uh, I did earlier. It's a landscape. Um, I dry mounted it with a silk margin. Is that beautiful? So it's ready for framing. We're going to show you the process now. The material we need are the pre-mounted uh, silk margin. Uh, it comes in rolls like this. Um, you can buy by yard and uh, then you cut into the strips that you need like this the best part of the best part of this is uh, you will see um, it's pre-mounted so it has a film a silicone film attached to it. So it's ion silk. Ion silk. And then you need a piece of uh, silicone paper as, as big as the painting. We also have a special tape. Uh, it's called a supporting strip. You'll see what the use of this later. It will add a rim to the Painting, between the painting and the, uh, the margin. Besides this, you will also need a piece of uh, backing paper. We'll show you the process now. Uh, this painting has been uh, ironed with a little water. If the painting has wrinkles like, like this, you need to do is to spray some water but uh, make sure the water does not come on this uh, paddy so I just spread outside the table okay and then you iron with a low temperature like silk very gently This will remove the faults or the wrinkles. Make sure your iron is clean. You can use the paper towel to wipe it before you touch the painting. You can also use the protecting paper, but uh, uh, I like to see when I, I'm, I'm di directly on the original, I can see the wrinkles. So you kind of pull the, the wrinkle horizontally if the wrinkle is vertical. Now the painting is flat. Okay. I use a, a a silicone dry mounting paper to back it first. This will add the adhesive to the back of the painting. It's, a, it's like a lamination. Some of you have tried the, this uh, before. Uh, this is the same as uh, uh, the backing, the dry mounting video I've showed many times on YouTube. You can skip this part if you want to the later half, if you are familiar with this. But it's good to review some of the points if you uh, keep watching this. So this, this piece should be slightly uh, bigger or same size as the original. Uh, if it's smaller, you, you can trim it. So that's also OK. So I didn't squareize the painting yet. I will do that after this step. 
Okay. Let me put a piece of uh, release paper uh, that has been used with the previous work as a dust protecting paper. You can use any drawing paper if you don't have this yet. And then you start from the center. The temperature is set to uh, between silk and the wool. I will adjust it from lower to higher uh, to work gradually, increase the temperature uh, to seal it. But in the beginning, I try to press um, to drive out the air first. So you, you go from center to the corners, and then the margin, like that. You, then you increase the temperature, and go, you can go in any directions. Just make sure it's all even, and the other um, silicon film is activated. Okay, now let's take a look. Perfect. Uh, the next step is to squareize the edge. I use a cutting mat. side straight first, using that as a base to uh, work with the other sides. Just cut, I just trim a little bit to make it uh, square. So you need to make sure it's a perfect uh, sharp cut. So align this side. The roller blade is much uh, easier. You can use uh, also any uh, cutting knife. This is almost straight. Just Make sure it's a square. Now we have a perfect uh, square. Thank you. Um, so next, the next step is to uh, adding the supporting strip. I use a metal uh, plate. You can use a piece of glass uh, with a shiny surface. This is why um, I put the supporting strip, we call it zhu tiao in Chinese, supporting strip. Um, I have a little iron. This is also an iron material that you can get from a, a, a online store. Uh, and we peel off the the back of the painting, the release paper now. Let me turn this over so you can see it. Start from uh, the corner and then peer uh, towards the center. 
now you can see uh, the film is attached to the painting. up. Okay, now uh, fix the supporting strip temporarily on the glass or metal. In this case I use the metal. Just a little touch you will uh, hold it like that. And then just fix another corner. Oops. Which side is the glue? The glue, the adhesive should be facing the glass, the right side up. This is a temporary. Okay. Now um, you align the painting with the strip and overlap about uh, one millimeter behind the pin and activate that activate the silicone this silicone is on the pin right the, the back of the pin is uh, already with the silicone yeah back to the silicone so You can use the large iron if you don't have this small. This is for traveling. Uh, let me just use the regular one. Just the, at the edge. I'm sorry, I touched this. You know, that's why I don't want to use the big one. It, it, and, uh, and I want it airy. Um, let me just cut this off. It will not be on my way. Now we have uh, the supporting strip around the painting. <coughs> so this is uh, uh, step two. Attach the supporting strip around the painting or rim. Okay. The next uh, step is to cut the uh, backing paper for the entire work. We have this new material, it's a professional uh, backing paper. You can use the drawing paper uh, with a, a double weight, you know, like a, like a double, double shun or something you can also use. Uh, or you can you can mount two single strands together to create a backing paper. This should be a little heavier to support the, uh, the, the silk, because silk is very uh, soft. The backing paper needs to be thicker. And we just measure it, how much, uh, how much uh, backing we need. You can cut it larger and then trim it. That's how much, I think.
Okay, now um, we have. Uh, you can cut this before you start. Yeah, well, the idea, I think. Okay, the last steps. You need to align all the or position the painting in the right place. What I do is I put all the materials together. Make sure you see this is need to be a little up. This is too long, but we can use the scissors. It looks okay now. So make sure I have placed it uh, in the middle of the this paper. So it's okay now. We take this away. And then activate. Sorry. I'll use the, the, that's the protecting paper again. Just make sure that the dirt doesn't stand the, the painting. So activate the film from the center. So this is fix the painting. No, no move. And then up and down. To the to the corner, just go gentle, easy. Activate. All you need to do is activate the silicone film because it's already been flattened. No bubbles and no wrinkles. Easy. Increase the temperature. Let's take a look. Yeah. We need to seal it so the temperature should be higher, closer to wall. Between silk and the wall is uh, the working temperature. But when I start, I use lower temperature. Now I use higher temperature. Every iron has a different uh, habit, uh, personality. You need to uh, find out uh, what's the right temperature and how to uh, work. And your, your iron uh, movement also, if you are a slow uh, worker, you like your know, iron slower, you can use lower temperature. If you move very fast, you can use higher temperature. So this is a craft, it's not a science. You can experiment. That's about it. Now um, I'm going to do the upper rim or margin first. Make sure all the margin is firm. Because the shape of the iron, uh, you need to go outside the painting sometimes. Uh, you will miss a slot if you try to stay within the pin. You go over it. Okay. Now I'm going to put this margin on first. There is some rule. I think if you if it's uh, vertical, uh, 
painting like this, the bottom and the top should be wider and uh, it covers the, the middle part. If it's horizontal, I think it's the same way. The left and right should be wider. This is a little... I can cut the texture later, but you can also do it now. Let me just... Um, it's so accurate. You can have a little longer, because it's going to overlap behind. You want to leave a little space between the the silk and the, the painting, so the uh, the brown colored strip will show under it. Uh, it will show like a one millimeter. It, it's a personal personal preference. You can have it uh, bigger if you want. Another thing is if there's a pattern with you know dragon, you might notice the directions uh, on the margin. You want to make it look you know that left, but it doesn't really matter. I think it's basically just a pattern. Um, I will use the uh, iron to fix this rim first. Make sure it's a straight aligned. And then uh, extend to the outside. Activate to the film, the silicone adhesive behind. Or make sure you don't touch the other material because everything has silicone on it. That's why um, we sometimes use the small iron here because it's easy. It's, a, it's more accurate. This is three inches. This is four inches. You can have the uh, other uh, margin the same if you like. You can use it all four inch amount. Okay, now just activate the entire and use bigger one because it's kind of slow to use small. Oops. Just take Four inches from the painting. And four inches on this side.
last. Now we have a perfect, uh, perfect painting with a silk margin, ready to be framed. If you uh, can do this, you are one step away from uh, uh, making a hanging scroll. So in the next video, I'll show you how to make a silk scroll. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.